begin with a Naperville family's fight to have sexual assault suspects removed from the school. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. I'm Ann State tonight. Those parents took their anger straight to the school board. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff picks up the story live from Naperville. Dana. And that school board meeting here ended about a half an hour ago. It was an emotional one. There were fireworks. There were tears. It was a full house as more than 100 people came out to support the parents of an 11 year old boy who was allegedly sexually assaulted by two classmates. They were here asking school board members why all three boys, the alleged attackers, the alleged victim, were still at the same school and why more isn't being done about it. Our son has shown extreme courage in coming forward to tell us, the school, and the police of these incidents. Think of the courage he has to muster every single day to face his attackers on the bus stop, in the halls, in the cafeteria, in the common areas. We should sh show similar courage. We need to demonstrate to all students that we as a community have zero tolerance for aggressive, violent behavior against students or staff. We are not identifying the boys' parents in order to protect their son's identity, but all three boys attend Gregory Middle School in Naperville. The parents say back in November, two classmates, they're aged 11 and 12, attacked their son off school property, and they were charged with criminal sexual assault and abuse. The boys' parents say district officials told them school policy does not allow for school discipline in off-school matters. But they think that's wrong. So do dozens of other parents concerned for everyone's safety. But school district officials say by law there's only so much that they can do. The district apparently believes not acting in this situation is the best way to handle the fact that they are unprepared and had no policy in place. It may be that at some point we would uh, have a nexus to deal with this case in terms of school discipline. Right now, I don't see it. It would be, um, I think, a difficult situation for the school district to engage in some discipline knowing what the law tells us we can and can't do. But this issue has raised some debate among school board members. One school board member tonight said that he has drafted a victim's rights policy. He wanted to read that tonight. He was not allowed to do that by the school board president, saying they needed to discuss it privately in executive session tonight and then openly discuss this victim rights policy and the issue further at a meeting again in another couple of weeks. We are live in Aurora. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News.